Hi, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by. One of these notebooks is not like the other. One has a jellyfish on it. The other, a pretty flower. No, that's definitely not it. <laughs> One's actually enabled with NVIDIA's new Optimus mobile graphics power saving technology. The other is not. We're gonna tell you why you might care next. Okay, so the two notebooks we'll be using for comparison and demonstration of NVIDIA's new Optimus graphics optimization technology are a pair of ASUS UL50 VT thin and light notebooks. These are based on Intel Core 2 Duo SU7300 consumer ultra low voltage or CULV processors clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. The machine is based on a 15.6 inch LED backlit LCD screen and it's actually quite spacious, native resolution of 1366 by 768, but the notebook only weighs in at about four and a half pounds. So they're actually really nice thin and light machines. They also have 500 gig serial ATA hard drives and of course NVIDIA's GeForce G200M mobile graphics as well as integrated Intel GMA4500 graphics. And lastly, the machines are configured with four gig of DDR3-1066 system memory. Now the nice thing about these notebooks is that they're built with what's called hybrid graphics. In other words, there's an integrated graphics core in the Intel chipset of the notebook, but the machine is also configured with an additional, in this case, NVIDIA GeForce G210M mobile graphics chip. You'd run off the integrated Intel graphics for things like standard business applications or in a case where you want to conserve battery life, and you'd keep that NVIDIA GeForce GPU powered down. You'd switch over to the NVIDIA GeForce graphics chip when you wanted to do things like perhaps a little bit of high definition digital video or some light gaming or some other multimedia intensive task. You do this by toggling a switch on the keyboard, in this case a function switch, and we're gonna do that for you now, and you'll see we go to high performance mode. Intel's performance indication utility says increased performance is turning on. The screen goes blank. And within a few seconds, you'll see that the NVIDIA GeForce G210M mobile graphics chip is enabled. We've got a little utility says the NVIDIA GPU is on. Now the real difference between these two machines is that this notebook is specifically not configured with NVIDIA's Optimus graphics switching technologies. So as you can see when we toggled that function switch to switch over to the NVIDIA graphics core, the screen went blank and it was a bit of a hard cutover. The other downside is if you have an application running that's occupying the integrated graphics core or you want to switch modes, you have to shut down that application to be able to actually switch cores. And as you can see down here in the Windows 7 tray area, we've got a message that's popped up to increase performance. Click here. We click that and it says close these applications and click increase performance. So we'll close down Solitaire, close that message out, and then we can actually toggle over to the NVIDIA graphics core to increase our gaming and video performance. Okay, so to give you a sense of performance differential between the integrated Intel graphics in this notebook and the discrete NVIDIA GeForce G210M graphics processor that's in this notebook, we fired up 3D Mark 6 and the Deep Freeze graphics test portion of that benchmark. Here we're running it on the Intel integrated graphics processor and it's pushing out about three or four frames per second. And so it's pretty much a slideshow. Let's show you what the GeForce G210M can do next. Okay, so now we've manually switched over to the NVIDIA GeForce G210M graphics processor in this notebook, and we're running the deep freeze portion of the 3 d Mark 06 benchmark again, and we're pushing out now about 17, 18 frames per second. So about a four to five X performance increase on the discrete graphics processor by NVIDIA. Next, we'll show you how the Optimus enabled notebook handles the switch from integrated to discrete graphics and how it can do that seamlessly without the need to toggle or manually switch over. Okay, so here we are with the NVIDIA Optimus enabled notebook. Again, this notebook has the integrated Intel chipset graphics as well as the discrete NVIDIA GeForce G210M graphics processor. 
Uh, but because it's Optimus enabled, this notebook will be able to switch on the fly as it's required without any toggling of any buttons or what have you to go from a low power desktop integrated graphics mode to a high performance discrete graphics mode when we invoke the 3D Mark 06 benchmark. We've got a small utility running right here on the desktop that lets us know the status of the graphics processor, the discrete graphics processor. Here it says NVIDIA GPU is off. And if you watch that, keep your eye on that, it'll flicker briefly to on as we run this benchmark and uh, it will immediately kick into high performance discrete graphics mode. I'm not sure if you saw that. It did say on briefly, but now as you can see, we're running the test. We were in integrated graphics mode. Now we're in discrete graphics mode and we're pushing about 14, 15 frames per second. It'll scale up to about 17, 18 here. And we are now in high performance mode running directly off the GPU. Let's escape from the benchmark and we're on for a second. Now we're back off and we're running on integrated graphics. So without the need to toggle a software switch or a physical switch on the notebook, we've switched from integrated graphics to discrete high performance NVIDIA graphics on the fly. Let's take a look at a couple of the utilities that come with the graphics driver for Optimus next. Okay, so here we are in the NVIDIA Optimus enabled notebook and we're in the Windows 7 graphics properties control panel for the NVIDIA driver here under manage 3D settings. And in addition to all the known applications, games, what have you that are built into the driver database for an Optimus enabled machine, and by the way that database is updated via the internet on a regular basis, NVIDIA also gives the end user the ability to select from any program on their notebook which graphics processor here in the second drop down that they would like it to run on. So for example in 3D Mark 06 we can select two different modes, NVIDIA Performance Processor Mode or the Integrated Graphics Processor, whichever we would like. So a nice little utility here that you can customize a profile if you will for any program on your machine to select which graphics processor to choose. So that is a quick tour of NVIDIA's Optimus technology for notebooks. Again, dynamic on the fly switching from integrated to discrete performance graphics processors by NVIDIA. That is it. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.